In title box, create a row and a crow object. Play the row object. Edit the crow object and press the Add to Schedule button while it is selected. In the Schedule dialog, place a check next to the crow item. Press Activate. Now enter the desired time when you want your crow object to be played by title box. Check Start and enter a time about 1.5 minutes from the current time, at 2.30 pm. Loop the object 3 times. Close the schedule window and wait for the object to be played. At exactly 2.30 the crow item is played. When it is looped 3 times it disappears from the screen. Select the row item and open the scheduler. Take a look at the other options you have here. You can schedule an object to be played on a daily, weekly or a monthly basis. You can configure when the object should start and stop. Also, you can set the duration to the object or control it through external events. If you select the Advanced Scheduling option, you can enter specific days and months when you want your object to be played. You can also set a period of time or simply configure the object to be played on the last day of the month. In the cycling field, set a time period at which you want the object playout to be repeated. If necessary, assign a time when you want cycling of the object to be terminated. Add some notes to the scheduled item. Select a folder where you want a log file for the execution of the scheduled items to be saved. Clone the scheduled item. Select the list entry and press the default button to restore the item to the default schedule settings. Delete the entry. Reset the current schedule.